And the dogs had feces matted in their fur and are now being examined by veterinarians. Good evening, I'm Erica Sargent in for Elliot Rodriguez. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana joins us live from the Humane Society in North Miami Beach. Lauren. And Erica, 16 of those this morning here at the Humane Society of Greater Miami in two cages right outside that door. Here is one of those dogs right now. They have named him Bloom. This is Elsie. She's been caring for him all day. She says in just the last few hours, his demeanor has truly changed. A dog that was terrified is now warming up to the people here at the Humane Society of Greater Miami. And the director here says these animals are truly better off. For what could be the first time in a long while, little Peep has a cage all to himself. That's a far cry from just a few hours ago when he and 15 other dogs were found stuffed into two cages outside the Humane Society of Greater Miami. Just stinking, covered in feces and urine. It was the saddest, most horrific condition I've ever seen. I've been here almost 11 years. I have never seen anything like this. Humane Society Executive Director Lori Hoffman says the pups are Maltese mixes. Shaking in their cages, Hoffman says it's clear these animals have been mistreated for much of their lives. This kind of thing doesn't happen overnight so I don't know how anybody could let a dog get in this condition and not do anything about it and the the extent to how bad the condition was it's inhumane it's cruelty it's neglect it's abuse it's horrific of the 16 dogs abandoned here at the shelter they range in ages up to eight or nine years old this little guy right here puddles is just seven months old. This should be a white dog. This is not a normal coloring right here. The dogs were bathed, shaved, and checked out for other physical ailments. While the Humane Society is used to caring for stray, lost, and abandoned pets, more than a dozen at once 